Hi guys, Empress G here and I'm back with the same old problem folks. Um, I started this video early on so this is going to be a part two because um, I had to stop and um, you know, um, um, empty, uh, well, you know, something went wrong, okay? So that part one is still hot so it shows you, you know, we, we're making um, Jamaican pepper shrimps and this part I'm telling you that I'll be using, um, I'm not going to be using um, ordinary um, um, coloring. I'm going to be making my own. And I was telling you that this an anata, um, oil, anata seed, um, is a seed that um, coloring, coloring that is using a lot of food, almost 70% of the food today. And um, it's natural. And anata seed is using all over South America, Central America. Caribbean, we use it a lot. And uh, Africa, so... This is what I'm gonna be using to color my shrimp because you know in um when you do um Jamaican shrimps you have to um pepper shrimp it has to have a color and most time people just use um food coloring so and also the thing with this uh, anato oil when I do it folks you can use it in a lot of cooking you know because it it is is a very health um very healthy um um coloring to use it all you know if you go in and you Google anato what are the benefits of another seed? And you'll find it. It's in the store. It come in like a pod, a little pod, folks. When you open it up, you see all of these little seeds in it. So I think you have to dry them. But I buy the package of the seed. So how we will make it, folks? Right now I had some um some oil and um about um two cups of oil, depending on how much um of it you want. And you can cook with another oil a lot, uh, you know. And I'm gonna add some another seed to it, about a cup of another seed. And that's gonna, folks. That's gonna um, cook right down till you see the the seed will be um, the oil will be totally red, and that is what I'm gonna be using, um, um, you know, to cook my um, pepper shrimps. And so, automatically right there, we get this color from natural sources. And as I said today, um, another oil, another seed is using seventy percent of the stuff you buy in the store that um, call for um, food coloring. You just read the package. And, and it's also called by a different name. It's called Achoto. A-C-H-I-O-T-E-O. -E Achoto oil. So you might not see another oil. You might see Achoto oil. And um, Bika or Ariel, Ariel na. Um, So it's called by a few different names. But that is really another, another seed. And folks, that is as natural as it gets. Okay. So I, my shrimps is all seasoned up. And I show you in the first video. Or you um, devein it to get out the um, poo out of it. And um, the shrimps that normally you use is um, prawns. And you keep the, the shell on it. Because that's basically the most important thing in Jamaican pepper shrimp. And this is it here. I'm marinating folks. Um, and this is what the shrimp sh This is what it's going to look like. Okay. You keep the shell on. But you, you open the back. You use a serrated knife. And open the back of the shrimps and take out the poo. And the head and everything you keep on, but it's just the most important thing to come out of it. You have to take, as they would say, the shit out. <laughs> you know, folks, I'm just telling you, you know, like, you know, some people don't understand the other way. And right now, I'm just going to add my another seed to, um, if you have a wooden spoon that you don't mind turning red, um, you can use it. Otherwise, you just use an ordinary um, spoon that you can, um, you know clean off when you're done but you know what i'm just going to use a wooden spoon so are you putting on on, on the hole that you're going to be using folks i use the vegetable oil for that um i love um my olive oil extra virgin olive oil but you'll get the best taste out of a good vegetable oil a good seed oil either um sunflower canola or corn you know corn oil um, but i'm using vegetable oil so i'm gonna add about a cup of um and it depends on how ready you want to get it, folks. So this is it. So the seed is, I'm making enough so I, I because I use another oil in um, some of my dishes. And this is even to fry a egg, folks. It is so nice. So right now, you see the color change already? Look at that, folks. So that's natural food color. So that's what I'll be using to color my, to, for my shrimp. So I see, look at that. I'm putting in about a cup, a cup of another seed. See? So... What is going to happen here is that you're going to let it cook right down till the seeds are like almost totally dissolved. And you're going to have this red. See that? Yeah. That is a food color, natural food color right there, folks. Right there. And the taste, folks, it tastes 
so beautiful you know and they said they're doing research on it right now because it has a lot of antioxidant a lot of um anti-inflammatory it's not a you know they don't know for sure yet but they're doing a lot of research on this um seed okay so see turn red look at that folks red so once i cook my shrimps in that oil folks it's that's all I need. That's all the food color I need. So um, I'm just going to lower the eat. Okay. See that? See that? That's anato oil from the seed. See? Red. Natural food color. Natural, natural. It's, it pops up a bit so you have to be, um, see the seed pops up a bit so you have to be careful. Okay. I'm careful it doesn't um, splat on you. What I'm gonna do right now, folks, I'm gonna cover it down a bit. Sorry. I'm gonna cover it and I load it in. Okay. Yeah, so basically I'm just gonna get ready right now all my ingredients for um and this I'm just gonna use some onion, um some garlic. Green onions. I'm using you could use any color onion you want to use. Folks, this is look at that. Look at that, folks. That's another seed oil right there. Down to the bone. And that's basically ready right now. Look. Look at that red. Look, see that folks? So I'm just gonna remove turn the eat off. See that? That's another seed, natural food coloring right there yeah so and then you just strain it the seed is not going to be totally dissolved so you strain it and sometimes i use the seed again and still get a lot of um you know colored from it so that is done right there and i'm just going to use some of that for my um shrimp so guys i'm going to get all of this ready and when i come back i'll have that pepper shrimp going okay so i shall return folks all right okay <coughs> hi guys i'm back and i'm ready to cook the prawn right now so the pot is eating i remember when i leave i made my anatom seed oil and this is it here folks so that's what i'm saying this is the food coloring right here in this oil okay so i'm gonna add about two tablespoons to the pot and right now what we're going to be doing we're going to be um we're going to be um sauteing down all the um vegetables so the prawn is here that's going to go in last we have some onions here we have fresh garlic chopped we have ginger and later on we have a little bit of white part of the um of the skeleton we're going to be using we're going to be saving the green part for garnish along with some of the parsley fresh parsley and we had some fish sauce here fish seasoning and like i said they know the prawn is well seasoned already so we're just going to add maybe um we'll see how it goes for taste it's all seasoned up with all herbs and stuff already so okay we're going to add in the onion and i'm using red onion but you could use any onion doesn't really matter okay i'm adding in some Red onion. This oil is gonna one thing with another another seed for the oil is gonna sort of flat out a bit because that's from the seed. So so that's the onion they're sauteing right now. I let that swell a bit before I had um the ginger. I'm gonna and this is the white part of the skeleton. Okay, I had that also to it. And we're gonna let that sweat out a little bit. Then we have the ginger and garlic and some fresh thyme. And then the prawn is gonna go in afterwards. Okay, so this sweat a bit. Now we can add the garlic and lots of garlic, folks. And some crushed ginger. And as I said, folks, um, I was gonna do one whole video, but something um went wrong there, so I have to do two parts. So this is cooking actually cooking the, the, the prawns right now okay so this is the um onion green onion um 
garlic and ginger sweating right now and I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley to it. The most of the parsley is gonna be there for garnishing. So you wanna get that flavor. And I'm also gonna add a bit of mint, just a little piece that give it um that kicks up the flavor there folks. So that's a fresh mint, just a you know a little piece. Um you know that's optional for you know that's my thing. When I do it like that, it's so nice. And guys, I'm gonna add in a lot of um I'm gonna take off some of the sprig off the um of the thyme and I'm using green fresh thyme, okay? I like to just take the sprig off of it. But that's where all of the flavors comes out. Some of it, some of it. I'll just put the rest in there like that because once we're done with that, we're just gonna um, discard we're just gonna get the flavor out and discard it okay so that's the thyme gone in there right now so we have onions thyme some fresh parsley and some the white part of the um the scallion and now folks we're gonna add in the prawns and this is about two two pounds and we just gotta add in the prawns and these are gonna take a little bit longer to cook than um you know, if you do the, um, take the skin off. So at one point, I'm just going to cover down the pot for a few minutes and just let it saute. So this is where all the colors are going to come in now, folks. See, start turning pink. And I have the pepper there, folks. I'm adding that. I'm not right, right this minute. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. So... Because the pepper is <laughs> is hot, 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 hot. So I want to leave that. Um, I have a couple of peppers um, chopped up, and that's gonna go in in a minute. Uh, because I did season up the um, shrimp with some. pepper so let me see if I can start turning this over you see the pinkness starting yeah see that okay while that is going on That's a slow process and like I said the most important thing in the shrimp pepper shrimp is the eat folks is the eat from the pepper okay yeah that's why it's called pepper shrimp pepper shrimp so the last time I did it and I cooked um, the peppers along with the onion right away and folks man so that's why I'm just gonna put that in afterwards and you know we love a lot of heat around here and for pepper shrimp she also had a lot of heat so yeah so i saved that part for last because it has some some peppers in there right now but i guess um the majority of it gonna go in and we are using just red 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 scotch bonnet pepper or what do you want to call it abara 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 or whatever but we know that scotch bonnet I'm just chopping up a little bit finer. But right now, I'm just gonna add it in. And this is the pepper here, folks. This is about three aberina, aberina, aberina or scotch bonnet, whatever, folks. And when I taste it, I'll see how much more it needs. So you see, yeah, the heat is on right now, as they say. And you see the shrimps are just taking the natural color from the um, anato seed oil. That's it. You don't have to add any food coloring, you know. There you go. Look at that. I want to be gentle with them because I don't want to break apart. Because for um, so folks, you see the, ch the, the, the change already? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I should add any more pepper, but I have to wait and, and see because oh yeah folks look at that 
Wow. Awesome. I'll taste it in a bit when it's the prawns. They hold up pretty good, folks. A few of them had it gone, but that's okay. At right, this time, I'm going to add a piece of um, butter. Because, you know, any kind of uh, shrimps, you have to have the butter and your garlic there going. So, and you add that to that, and another oil, folks. Uh, so the butter is there right now. I'm just also going to add a little, I'm going to taste it first and see how one. Because I don't want to get it too salty. Let's taste the sauce and see how, because it was seasoned. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm just going to add a little bit of fish, um, fish seasoning, not too much. Folks, wow. It don't need no more pepper. Wicked and it's nice. So I had a little bit of fish seasoning, not a lot because it doesn't need a lot. And this year, now, folks, if you just want to do your prawns like that, or you could do some corn and slice them up and put in there, and that corn would suck up all of that stuff. But we're just doing this straight up, okay? And that's the yes, that's the quality of the. Folks, this thing is see, making its own sauce. Okay, so folks, I'm gonna cover it down for a few minutes and let it steam a bit. And when I come back, folks, it will be all ready, okay? Be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back and it's plated with your pepper, with your green onions and your parsley and folks, that is Jamaica pepper shrimps right there, folks. And I'm going to try one right now and see. It's hot. Oh. Mm. <coughs> oh, folks. It's hot, but the flavor. Mmm. Whoa. Folks, you got to try this. It is so good. Mmm. Just to add them on the eat, folks. So, folks, mm, that is Jamaican pepper chip there, my version, folks. Big up yourself, everybody. It's a beautiful day. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. And Ivelyn, big up yourself and everybody who support the channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, have yourself a blessed day. Peace.